Hello, Internet World. Why am I smiling so much this morning? Well, it's because I waited a very long time for this product to be delivered. Uh, this, in fact, uh, was a Kickstarter campaign. So I purchased this with my own money. It was something I was very excited about. This is the Keychron K6. Now, it's very well known that their previous keyboard, I think it was the K2, correct me if I'm wrong, was superb. Uh, because not only did it work on Windows PC, but it also supported Mac OS as well. And this one here, because I ordered this on Kickstarter, I got to choose what sort of chassis I had, and also the switches as well. Uh, and it comes with extra keycaps for Mac OS, which, funnily enough, are pre-installed on the keyboard, which is very cool. Uh, this is the box. You can see from this uh, little uh, label here, I went for red switches inside. Uh, and I think they're Gatoron. I'm, I'm not sure, but I think they're Gatoron. Uh, nice box, works with Windows and Mac OS. You can pair up to three devices on here as well. Uh, let's uh, switch over and take a closer look. Uh, so this is what you get inside the box. Now I mentioned that this works with, uh, or, or you can pair this up to three devices, which is very cool. It's got a nice compact design. I'm hiding the keyboard at the moment because I'm gonna save the best bit uh, until last. Uh, wireless or wired so you can use this with USB-C if you want to as well uh, the battery life is really good lasts for uh, about four weeks between charges there's a 4000 milliamp hour battery in here and there's also lighting effects so without further ado uh, let's um, have a look what we get inside the box so we get a little tiny instruction manual this is going to guide you through getting up and running with the keyboard you also get a really nice braided cable. Now, as I mentioned, this works wired or wireless. Uh, USB-C right angle connectors are going to the keyboard, and then we've got the USB-C uh, USB-A connector there to go into your computer. We also get a keycap puller and a switch puller as well. I opted to have the construction where I can actually change the switches out if I want to in the future, so they include the tools to be able to do that. It's like hot swap switches in here also you get extra keycaps so we've got like i think the windows key in here an alt key a couple of alt keys an escape key and a red light key for the lighting mode so you get extra keycaps inside that little bag you also get this uh, sort of cheat sheet which is going to tell you about switching between cables uh, what you can do with the various buttons uh, and also on the back here how you change light effects, disable auto sleep mode, turn off the backlight, media and function keys, uh, also remapping keys as well, because you can use this on Linux, uh, and also how you switch between the right and control key and the right alt key in Windows. Also the support email here as well. So very, very nicely laid out. Uh, and uh, here we go, let's have a look at the actual keyboard. This is what it looks like actually, let's pop that out of the way very very nice indeed this is a superbly made keyboard i've been using this for just over a week now the chassis i went for is the the metal so it's a metal chassis uh, really nice construction nice compact keyboard no number pad as you can see but we've got up right up down left and right arrow keys page up keys the lighting mode uh, various function keys across the top uh, and also the red escape key. Now, for example, I could change this to the red uh, light mode key as well. Uh, and if we turn this on the back, you can see it's completely clear on the back. If we turn it on this end, you can see some of the construction. So this is really nice because this is metal. The bottom is plastic, but the outer casing is metal, and you can see the, the little Allen keys or Allen bolts in there very very nice and then if we go around onto this end you can see the various uh, switches and connectors so we've got one here uh, that switches between Windows and Mac OS this one here uh, we've also got the USB C connector and then we've also got cable connection off and then Bluetooth on this switch here so in the middle position it's off it's switched it's switched to cable at the moment so that'll work via USB-C or, or we can switch it to Bluetooth wireless connection. There's also 
uh, little kick out feet on the bottom, two different angles. You can put the little feet foot out or the big foot out to get different typing angles on the keyboard and little rubberized feet on the front here uh, to stop it slipping around on the desk. It's a really nice typing angle anyway. So uh, even without those uh, little feet flipped out, it is very, very nice typing angle, even like this. So very, very cool. Uh, let's turn this on. And I'm gonna turn my studio lights off just so that you get to see the backlighting a little bit better. So let's turn studio light number one off and let's turn studio light number two off. There we go, so you get to see, you're gonna get a little bit of reflection or, or shadowing from myself, but you get to see this lighting effect now. It is absolutely gorgeous, really very, very nice indeed. Now before I cycle through the lighting effects, or indeed while I'm cycling through them, uh, I just wanna remind you all this is a live broadcast if you've got any questions or comments at all why the broadcast is on uh, or, or going, then please do uh, let me know what your questions are. I can see plenty of you tuned in live, including Mr. Vlogger and also Connor Lewis. Thank you very much. And also Marlenia. Thank you very much for tuning in live. I really do appreciate it. So this is like a static rainbow backlight color. Uh, I think we hold down function one, if I remember correctly, and then we can cycle through the various lighting effects. So here we've just got red. Here we've got like a, an amber orange color. Here we've got a lighter yellow color. And then we've got green. And then we've got a nice aqua blue. Oh, that's nice. I really do like that. And then we've got a dark blue, a magenta, a nice cool white color. And then we've got the um, uh, rainbow color again. And then we're back round to red. We can go left or right on those. And then we can also have it so it cycles through the various lighting effects. Uh, and for example, oh, I've gone into a different mode there. So for example, here it's asking me to, I've not seen this before, but it's asking me to do something else. Let's cycle through to red. So you can see even on the red now, it's lighting up. That's very cool, I like that. I like that a lot, that is cool. Let's go back around to uh, this mode. Ooh. That's pretty. And then we're back around to static mode. Uh, let's turn this off altogether. There we go, right. Now we're gonna type. Let's do some typing so you get to hear uh, how this sounds. I'm gonna bring the microphone in a little bit closer. And I'm gonna stop talking so you get to experience how the red switches sound on the Keychron K6. Let's just switch this um, backlighting off altogether. Here we go. Wow, that feels really very, very good. What a gorgeous, gorgeous keyboard. That is amazing. I really do like it. Uh, this has become my full-time keyboard. Let me just switch my uh, my studio light on again so you can see me a little bit better. Uh, this has become my full-time keyboard. I'm really extremely uh, pleased with it and uh, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, it is available now, so it's out of the Kickstarter campaigns. So you can just purchase this. Uh, you can still customize it uh, with whatever switches you want, and you can choose from different options, like an RGB backlit version, a standard backlit version, uh, one that comes with this sort of metal chassis, 
uh, one with hot swap keys, one without hot swap keys. So plenty of uh, different uh, customization options on here. Uh, and it is just very, very nice. It works extremely well in the wireless mode with my Mac. No issues with that at all. Also works absolutely fine wired. I can't tell the difference between the two, really. Uh, I prefer to use it in wireless mode just because it looks a lot cleaner on the desk setup and uh, it is just absolutely fantastic. So let's take a look inside the live chat again. Uh, a little bit of discussion going on. We have got uh, uh, Sony LaBarba saying what a pretty keyboard. I absolutely agree. Uh, David Franklin, oh my god, love the mechanical keys. Good morning. Good morning to you, David. Thanks for, for your kind comment there. And also digital uh, media fan, not backlit. Um, you may well have missed it. It is backlit. It's got some. It doesn't sharp very well because I've got my studio lights on now. Um, just check I've got it on. Yeah, there we go. You can see the the lights just flashing across there. It's definitely backlit. Just rewind and watch the video back after the live broadcast. Uh, so that is it for this particular video. I really do appreciate you all tuning in live. Thank you very much for that. If you're watching after the live broadcast, then please do use the regular comments section below. Uh, and if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. I publish new tech videos pretty much every single day, sometimes more than one. I've got another one coming up this morning. And uh, that's it. I just can't believe, wow. I just cannot believe how awesome this keyboard is. I can really, recommend it this is not a sponsored video or anything i bought this with my own money and uh, this is great i really do love it uh, thanks for watching everyone i'll see you in another video very very soon